Hi, Kayo. I'm Bethany. Welcome in. So this is my 1,400 square foot townhouse in Costa Mesa, California. We completely gutted this place about two years ago and I'm really loving the direction it's headed. I feel like I'm never going to be done, but this is where we're at now. I feel like my design aesthetic would be like Copenhagen meets California. I'm a mom of three. My design ethos really centers around that and uh, fostering creativity and interest and fun and playfulness. Uh, at the same time, staying on the minimal end of things because three kids in a small house adds up. My design career started back in Portland when we converted our two-car garage into a studio living space. I learned how to tile there. I tiled a bathtub. I tiled the 400 square foot floor and I could barely move afterwards, but that's how it all started. I love to experiment. I'm not afraid to mess up. So I just ordered a bunch of different supplies and then I like go to town when my kids go to bed and see what I like. I talk to my husband a lot about it and we kind of collaborate on the end result. But yeah, I'm an experimenter and I'm not afraid to fail. That's like the key. I grew up with my dad building our house and we all pitched in. There's four kids in my family. I was sanding drywall. I was staining wood like probably at eight years old or something. So it's kind of just like in my blood to want to do things with my own hands. I like it a certain way. I'm picky about finishes. And it's really honestly hard to explain to a 50 year old man exactly how you want to waxy, conditioned, but not shiny texture on plywood. So that's kind of why I took it on my own plate. I was looking for some chrome metal to kind of anchor all the colorful, playful elements. Like, I'm also serious too. So I found these Rima Gaston Rinaldi chairs on Cayo, and they're vintage, but you can't tell. They're like in perfect condition. They're actually comfortable. And yeah, we live in this area. Me and my kids, my husband, we're all here all the time. Okay, this is a gainy pot. If you don't know about it, look them up. They make the coolest, colorful, really nice modern shapes. It's mid-century modern. I thrifted this and I think I paid $20. I think they go for hundreds sometimes. It's like a well-known mid-century potter. Okay, this pink little bowl. I don't know anything about it. I don't know the story, but I love this little shape. I thrifted this in Phoenix, Arizona at a random kind of junky thrift store. Sometimes you find the really good ones there. One of the things I love about old things is the colors. It is impossible to replicate those vintage shades of yellow, of pink, and that's one of the most important things about my design aesthetic. When I look for colorful things nowadays, it's non-existent. It's like beige, white, gray, or black is the options. Where is the fun in life if you have those as options? Give me the, all the vintage color. I feel like more so than things I want to add to my house is experiences I want to bring. We want to do like a hot tub in the backyard for our kids. I want to convert our garage into like a studio with like a half pipe for my kids and just kind of like keep bringing things to do here that makes home even more special and full of life. Other than like seeing wrinkles on my face, I guess, I like almost everything about getting older. I love who I'm becoming. I love that as life gives you experiences, you take all that information with you and you have it as this like well that you can move forward with. I really enjoy that part of it.